All right, welcome to my brand new course that follows along with this book, The Unofficial Guide to Wirecast. In this video, we are going to talk about this course and what you can learn. So let's get started. Now, this book is going to follow along chapter by chapter with the unofficial guide to Wirecast. I spent a lot of time writing this book, and I think that that is why it's going to be so valuable. So we're going to do an introduction to Wirecast right after this, where we're going to help you on how to get started with Wirecast, understanding the interface, understanding the overview of the terminology used to talk about a Wirecast video production. From there, we'll be connecting some cameras and capture sources and talk about the different cables and connections that are required for bringing in you know, everything you need from audio, video to graphics into Wirecast to start thinking about how we're gonna lay out our Wirecast productions. From there, we'll talk about shots and layers. And shots are essentially each different shot that you can cut to. And then layers are the way that you can layer together graphics and media together to get a really great, good production together. From there, we'll look at some common sources. And some of the common sources are image files, videos, webcams, IP streams, NDI video. We're going to familiarize you with the different types of sources that you're going to come in contact with as you are building your Wirecast productions. Then we'll start working with Wirecast layering system, which is really powerful, but I do think you need to have a high level kind of guide to help you be productive with the layering system. So I have some great best practices for Wirecast layering system. We'll look at how to do transitions, the best practices for transitions and using the auto live feature with Wirecast. Then we'll talk about capturing monitors and applications and windows. And, and here we'll kind of build some of the foundational blocks that you'll learn in an upcoming video regarding how to capture Zoom video conference meetings into your Wirecast productions. Next, we'll talk about editing shots. And it's important to edit shots because you bring in media, but you might want to adjust the contrast. You might want to add a chroma key. And this is where we're starting to get more advanced with the media that we're bringing into Wirecast. From there, we have NDI sources. These are IP video connected sources. It could be your smartphone. It could be an NDI camera. It could be an NDI audio device over the local area network. Good for you to have an understanding of what these are and how to use them. From there, we'll talk about controlling PTZ cameras, something I really enjoy, allowing you as the Wirecast producer to do a lot more from a single interface, have the ability to control Wirecast and multiple cameras inside of your location. So from there, we'll look at Wirecast Go, which is a free mobile app for iOS. And then we'll also look at the NDI version of that available for Android. We'll talk about live streaming with Wirecast and we'll talk about recording with Wirecast. And we'll split those into two significant different segments because there's different you know, considerations with live streaming is regarding bandwidth and bit rate. Then there's different record, um, you know, considerations with recording. Maybe you want a higher quality recording of your video production on your local hard drive, and then maybe a lower bit rate stream, which you'll learn all about um, for your live productions that go out to the world. Then we'll look at using color keys, and that's essentially using a green screen. And I have some free virtual sets that you guys will get with this course. You can download them and make your own. So we'll go over all the virtual set options with Wirecast. Then we'll finally, building on everything we've learned, we'll start using Wirecast with Zoom. Now, Wirecast does have a, a, a solution for bringing video callers in called Rendezvous. Personally, I'm kind of waiting for that uh, to be improved because I do believe connecting Zoom right now is probably an easier workflow for a lot of people. Then we'll look at using the Elgato Stream Deck with Wirecast. Uh, then we will talk about wa Wirecast Rendezvous because it could be a very easy solution where you don't have to pay for Zoom for those of you who don't have Zoom. We'll look at using playlists. 
We'll look at the multi-viewer. Uh, should go back. Playlists are lists of pre-organized assets, such as MP3 files and pictures that you can group together in easy-to-use playlists. We'll look at the multi-viewer option, allowing you to view multiple sources at once. We'll talk about adding overlays, ISO recordings, which are isolated recordings of, let's say, camera inputs without all of the graphics on top that you can use for post-production purposes. We'll talk about hotkeys, the ability to quickly type some keys to assign them to do anything you'd like in Wirecast. And then we'll have a final wrap up session. So that is everything included in the unofficial guide to Wirecast course. Are you guys ready to dig in? I am. Let's get started.